What's up guys, Midar, True Good Development. Today I'm in a shop and I want to add an outlet to an existing line. In fact, right here. So I got this outlet that's already connected to my electric line. And I want to add another outlet right about there. All right, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. First things first, I'm not an electrician, but I have a uh, pretty good experience with the lighter end of electric wiring, installing outlets, light switches, things like that. A whole circuit breaker, not so much. Maybe a breaker, okay, 15, 20 amp, anything more than that I won't mess with. So anyways, first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn off your breaker, which I have already done. Even though I did that, I always wanna double check and make sure that I'm dead at the outlet, I'm dead at the lines, so I'm all good. Boom, there's that. You're gonna need a box, 20 amp outlet, because you're working with a 12 gauge wire, and some wire, right? So it's a pretty, the concept is very simple, right? We're throwing this box in here, we're wiring from the box to this outlet so we can catch some um, some electricity. So essentially what's happening is you got, it's a three wire, you got a hot, neutral, and a ground. Once you do your wiring through, you're gonna wanna connect your hot to the hot terminal, your neutral to the neutral terminal, and of course your ground bunched up with the other grounds here from the two lines. So pretty simple. I think I want to put this thing right about here. Now the nice thing about these outlets is you have these notches cut out already. So that makes up for the half inch drywall, right? So you see where it stops right here. So that way your half inch drywall comes right to it and it'll be nice and flush with your wall. Um, so again, I think I'm about, I want to go right about here. Maybe right there. I'm not gonna hammer it all the way because I want to get a visual on it. Make sure that's kind of where I want it to be. Uh, and I think that's good. Right, so once you mark where your box need to go, pull it out. Much easier to feed your line through now. And bend on it. I take about this much off. All you gotta do is just put your knife right through in the middle, slice it open, get this out. Take this guys out, boom. All right, I like using one of these guys. These are strippers. You have your stranded line and your solid line, if you can see it right there and it tells you what gauge the wire is in order for you to cut it right and strip it right, I mean, right? So this is a 12 gauge solid, so we're gonna use the 12 slot right here. And you go about an inch back. Just like that. Strip that. Same thing here. Strip this guy, okay? Now the nice thing about these um, outlets is you could just slide your wire right in. You don't need to make a loop in it or anything like that, except for your ground, okay? With the outlets, rule of thumb, the little slot is always your hot or your brass screw is always your hot. This is your neutral, that's silver. All right, loosen these up. I'm just gonna need the one. Grab my hat, plug it right in just like that. Screw it in nice and tight. 
tight tug on it. Make sure it's not going anywhere. Okay. Same thing with your neutral, obviously. Pretty loose. Like that. Tight. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. Tying these other ones, I don't know, just for good measure. Just don't like to see them loose. All right, tug, tug, not going anywhere. All right, let's look at the ground. Now, any screw, righty tighty, right? Like that. So you want to make your loop to go the same direction. I'm looking for my nose pliers. I want to make your loop. Oh, there's a little bit more light here, like that to go the same direction as your screw. Like that. Like this. Let's loosen this up a little bit. Okay. Okay, just like that. Uh, before you tighten it up again, you want to grab your nose pliers and pinch this, pinch this wire like that. That way, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Hold everything nice and tight. Screw this in. So you see how I'm tightening it clockwise and my loop is in the same direction, right? So that way it doesn't come loose, all right? Now, if this is already in, push it all the way through. So much easier to screw it in. Now then, we know where this is going. Boom. Match it up to the holes that we already banged in there. Now again, I'm still not going to go all the way in. Just in case I, I notice something, you know, and I want to move the outlet for whatever reason. Okay, we could always tighten everything else up later. All right, so this is going to go right onto this stud that okay now here is the part that's probably going to take the longest is i already have these two slots occupied my open slot is down there at the bottom so i have to hook this in and up over like that all right no big deal it's just going to be a pain there's not much space in here oh, let's see how we can do this i see it Come on. Uh, see, it's always good to plan ahead. I did not plan that outlet. Had I planned it, my life would have been so much easier. Now, of course, I could take this off the stud and make my life easy, but I think by the time I do that, I, I would have gotten this guy through. Boom, there you go. I just gotta push through, come on. Let's grab these guys. Again, this is why you want the power turned off because you don't know what you're gonna end up needing to do like this and having these pliers in here and you don't want your you don't want a life circuit. right through twelve And 
here's just gonna add to these guys. It doesn't really matter which one you're adding it to. Everything here is hot. The nice thing about these outlets too is you already have slots that are open. You could just poke right through. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. And your ground. tighter let's pull it in there you go all right not going anywhere this guy we're going to cut out All right, now that everything is wired, of course, you wanna make sure that you did everything right. Turned on the breaker. It's hot. My new outlet is hot. And wanna make sure your wiring is correct too. Two lights, correct wiring. Same thing here. And Ah, uh, we could just, there you go. Same thing here. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, I do the flips and remodel. So make sure you check that real estate playlist and I'll show you how to do the flips and how to look into it if that's something you're interested in. See ya.